Sony's PlayStation VR headset is one of, if not the most successful headset on the market, with over 5 million units sold. But is this 5-year-old headset still worth it in 2021? A lot has happened since the PSVR first release, so let's take a look at the reasons why you should get it, then we'll get into the reasons against it. The PSVR has arguably VR's best content library, with Astrobot Rescue Mission, Blood and Truth, Resident Evil 7, Iron Man VR, The Hitman Trilogy, okay. Wipeout the Omega Collection, Static, Farpoint, Dreams, Fireball Zero Hour, and many more, all completely exclusive to the headset, not to mention the stacks of ported indie to AAA titles that are shared with both PC VR and Quest, PSVR has perhaps the strongest selection of VR games available today. Whether you're into horror, driving, action, or heartfelt stories, there will definitely be something for you. Which brings us to our second point, there's still new content coming. Big VR games like After the Fall and Sniper Elite VR are on the PSVR 2021 calendar, along with newly announced indie titles like Stride and Wind and Leaves. It may not be as busy as its competitors, but PSVR should still have a good 2021. PSVR is still one of the cheapest ways to get into VR, and it's in stock. At $350 for a bundle consisting of the headset, PlayStation Move controllers, games, and the PlayStation camera, PSVR is ridiculously good value. And we expect to see deep price cuts in the headset's future, given that next-generation gaming is now here. There is a glaring caveat though, you'll need a PS4, PS4 Pro or PS5. If you don't already have that, then you're looking at bumping up the price by at least a couple hundred dollars. But over 100 million people do in fact have a PS4, and if you're one of them, it'd be hard to turn this down. And lastly, it works on the PS5. If you're lucky enough to have gotten your hands on a PS5, you can use your PSVR with it. You just need to get the free PSVR camera adapter, as the new camera doesn't work with the headset, and the entire PS4 PSVR library is mostly open to you. And it even supports your old PS4 era controllers so you can keep playing Farpoint with your aim controller. PS5's improved specs also mean that titles look even better on the device, with faster load times and improved frame rates. Just check out No Man's Sky latest update linked below. But there's more to this story, which brings us to the con section. First up, PSVR is a dated headset. This is the real elephant in the room. Yes, PSVR is capable of producing powerfully immersive VR experiences, but the gap between the headset and its competitors is widening. The 1080p screen still does the job, but looks significantly blurrier when stacked up against the Oculus Quest 2, HP Reverb G2, and the Valve Index. Plus the headset's tracking, which only allows you 180 degrees of movement when using the Move controllers, struggles to keep up with a lot of the best VR titles, unless if you have a very specific setup. Even then, you won't get the full range of motion you'd see in other devices. PSVR support on PS5 is convoluted. So yes, the PS5 supports PSVR, but you're gonna have to get that previously mentioned camera adapter to add to the already tangled setup. Plus, PS5 sure games can't natively play. support PSVR. That means no new PS5 games with VR support, and for cross-generation games like Hitman 3 and No Man's Sky, you'll have to play the PS4 version even though they're both on PS5. Our third negative point is that the Oculus Quest 2 may be a better purchase. Though it doesn't boast the power of the PS4 or the incredible exclusives that PSVR has, but the Quest 2 is wireless, just at the start of its life, and $50 cheaper than the previously mentioned PSVR bundle. We've got more on the PSVR versus Quest 2 comparison in the article linked below. And lastly, PSVR is at the end of its life and will probably eventually be replaced. This is undoubtedly the reason why you're searching for whether or not you should invest in PSVR in 2021. Yes, the PS5 is out, and yes, it supports the headset via backwards compatibility, and yes, new games are on the way. But the headset is still five years old, and it's very possible that PSVR 2 is on its way in the next couple of years at the absolute earliest, which will likely have significant improvements from tracking tech to screen resolution. And with that bummer of a last point, we reach our conclusion. Should you buy a PSVR in 2021? Well, if you have a PlayStation 4 or 5 and you want to play some of the best high-end VR titles there are, then yes. If you're looking for a cutting-edge VR experience and don't have a console, then you're better off looking into a PC VR headset or the Oculus Quest 2 for a no-strings-attached deal. Do you agree with all the points in this video? Let us know below what you think and whether or not we've helped you to reach your decision. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notifications button for the latest in VR.